For almost a week of protests for George Floyd here in Colorado Springs. Last night was the earliest those marching have called it quits. Their goal to keep everything peaceful, saying it became too risky to do so with the large crowd. News 5's Renee Skinner live for us this morning in quiet Acacia Park, where organizers first started asking people to head home, I'm told, shortly after 10. Good morning, Renee. Good morning, Ira, and that's exactly right. And we talked to one of those organizers last night who says they had daytime protesters mixing with the nighttime ones, which made it harder for them to achieve a peaceful protest without any potential conflicts. Now, you may remember David Burke. He's the young man who helped control crowds on Wednesday night, keeping them on the sidewalks and making sure they're picking up trash and even asking everyone not to chant as they were walking through neighborhoods. Those tactics made it to where Wednesday night people peacefully marched well past 10 o'clock without any police intervention. But last night, a larger group started here in Acacia Park. And after doing one lap downtown, Burke says they realized there were too many risk factors to keep going. We'd rather end on a safe note with no bullets fired, no gas, none of that, rather than have people be angry at everybody, miscommunicate and have us end up hurt. Uh, now, he also says organizers planned on regrouping and coming up with a new plan. He also says organizers are meeting with city leaders this morning around 7 o'clock to talk about what change they would like to see here locally. Now, they want to keep the media out of that conversation, but they said they would check in with us after they have had that conversation. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Renee Skinner, News 5.